Hello, my name is Shijish Rosto and this is my video blog. Today I want to talk about Netflix. Why is Netflix failing in India despite making a show like Sacred Games and competing with other channels like Prime Video which does not make too much high content and uh, channels like Hostal in which most of the content is free. Why Netflix is successful in other countries and not in India. One of the prime reasons why Netflix is not very successful in India is because of its price value which if you see for a monthly basis is very low but if I'm paying for Prime Video, I'm paying for Hotstar, I'm paying for my internet, I'm paying for all these things, it amounts to a lot of money. So if I'm paying for Netflix, Amazon Video, I'm paying for my internet, I'm paying for electricity bill, it all amounts to two, three thousand bucks, which I don't want to pay. And why would I pay the money to watch a serial which I can actually download from Torrent and watch it on free anyways? It's very convenient for me to watch uh, if I download all those videos on my laptop and then start watching them. Why would I go to Netflix? But there is certain... Uh, branding that comes with Netflix. A lot of people that I know from high class are trying to buy the Netflix subscriptions and they talk about, uh, talk to you like it's a cultural thing. Like, do you have Netflix or not? But the truth is, most of the people in tier two and tier three cities does not have Netflix. And one of the reasons is the content. The content of Netflix does not resemble the mind of Indian audience. Like initially when a Star Plus came in, they used to show a lot of foreign shows which were dubbed in Hindi and it didn't work. There, there was a Star Movies which is now extinct and I used to watch a lot of films on Star Movies but it does not exist anymore because they realize one basic thing. When you are in India, you have to show the Indian content. Now the Indian demographics is completely different from the demographics of any other country that you know. There are multiple languages, there are more than 100 languages that are spoken. You just move from one city to another and the language is going to change. Netflix has to understand that. They just cannot keep making the content which is just one dimensional and uh, which might have worked in one country and they would expect it to work in this country. It wouldn't. They can, they can buy Swedish content, they can buy Norwegian content, they can buy Russian content and dub it or maybe put the subtitles but it won't work in India because people in India do not work according to that. They would watch an American show because uh, a lot of people go to America, a lot of people go to uh, Britain, Europe and all these countries so they can identify with the culture and the serial that is that they can see but they haven't been to many other countries that they cannot relate with culturally and with the language that they speak. Even in India, you talk in the language. That's why Sacred Games worked. But Sacred Games was a combination of an urban serial mixed with a uh, lingo of a, a small town city. There were lots of abuses. And that's why I loved Mirzapur more than I loved Sacred Games. Sacred Games was interesting. Sacred Games was good. But I didn't enjoy it. I was, I was intrigued, but I wasn't enjoying it. Mirzapur was one serial which I enjoyed very much. I didn't want to watch Mirzapur. I, I kept on stalling uh, watching Mirzapur because it was... Uh, because first of all there was Ali Fazal into it and second I thought they have just copied Sacred Games uh, because of the success of Sacred Games they just copied something and then put a lot of abuses into it and they just make another web series out of it. But Mirzapur is definitely worth a watch and it's very interesting the acting of uh, that the actors have done into it it's very interesting. However, it starts jagging after 5 episodes but again this is not Mirzapur review so I'm not going to go into that. Hotstar is working in India. I don't know how but Hotstar is working. They have subscription and everything but they do not have that much content on a paid basis. 80% to 85% of their content is free. That's why people go again and again on Hotstar. Again, another important thing is that India is a country which is crazy about cricket. And Hotstar always gets the tender to live broadcast the IPL and all the cricket tournament that happen in India and that's why people log on to Hotstar just to watch the cricket and that's how they gain the subscription which no other uh, company is doing. Netflix does not broadcast any event live. Facebook uh, put the tender for uh, uh, broadcasting live cricket but it, they were rejected and again the tender was given to Hotstar because they are much into it. So as I was talking about Star TV, so when Star TV came to India they were putting all those uh, foreign content which was English spoken, there were subtitles and all but it was successful but was not as successful as Sony and ZTV were which had a very uh, which has a which has a low grade content than Star Plus, but still that was working. So Star again hired Indian executives and started making content which was Indian. So and the result was Kaun Banaya Kropati and Kyuki Sadhvi Kai Bahuthi, Kahani Ghar Ghar Ki, and all these serials which were low on content, which were not very high rated content, but still they worked because it touched the Indian lives. And that's how successful they got. Now, I was browsing Netflix and I saw this serial called Khan Number no. 1 made by Ramesh Sippy. And I 
said to myself why would they buy a serial like that which does not have an exciting protagonist even the name is not that interesting so i decided to watch the first episode of the series and it was bullshit it was one of the worst episode that i have seen it was the worst making acting was good because they took good actors but again execution was really bad and then i saw something which made me realize why they bought this content it was produced by rohan sippy of course i understand that when you are in film industry you have to go by the content you have to go by the references you you know big people and they create good content you do not rely on the new content and don't play by the luck factor that's completely okay for any production house or big company to go along with but the thing is if you are in contact with big people who create bad content and if you put that on your website it is going to have an adverse effect on the audience that you have netflix does not have enough content that i want to watch a lot of series that they have i have already either i have already seen them or i don't want to watch them because they do not have that much high rating they put a lot of documentaries which are very good but i don't want to watch the documentaries all the time if i watch one documentary i would love it but i wouldn't go watching another documentary because documentaries personally to me are very depressing they do not have a particular conclusion resolution they always end abruptly at a place where you start beginning to think and it's very uncomfortable watching documentaries you can, you cannot keep watching documentaries there are dearth of good series on netflix they 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 have acquired little things by dice media and i have no idea why they acquired that because it's not a great series and one of the thing that i feel about the executives in netflix is that they might be sitting in big offices on big chairs and they must be thinking and and they will be spending a lot of time on the internet and they will be reading the reviews about these shows and they must be thinking to themselves if these shows are working miraculously on the internet but internet actually constitutes a very really little part of uh indian subcontinent a lot a, a very little part of people are actually on internet who actually like subscribe or comment on youtube videos so if you take that statistics as something of being popular it is not popular gangs of wasepur was very popular but if you ask someone if someone has seen gangs of wasepur they would say no they they haven't seen the complete film in the theater that's why the film didn't do any business the film was very very popular the film is still very popular people can vouch you that they can remember the dialogues from the gangs of wasepur all the dialogues of gangs of wasepur but they haven't seen that film in theater they didn't go to the theater to spend 300 bucks to watch that film they watched it on dvds pirated cds and they watched it on torrents and they haven't watched the complete film they have seen the chunks of the film which were interesting and that film was actually interesting in chunks that film was not interesting throughout so that's what is happening with netflix netflix is buying content because they are relying too much on relations now the head of netflix india is shrishti behel which is a sister of goldie behel again connection not based on merit it is based on connection this is something that netflix should look into and start making good content and start meeting a lot of people and start looking at a lot of spec uh, scripts because a lot of there's a lot of potential in young filmmakers who are trying to make some good content who have new ideas and they should meet all those people and keep making indian content and that's how they're going to succeed if they keep buying independent films which no one is watching and which is not winning any awards like there's a film called haram khur by shlo the film is i i don't believe that anyone has seen that film Uh, it's not too big in uh, theater circuits, and there are lots of other uh, independent films apart from Haramko, which I think is a good film, uh, which they have put there, and no one is watching them because it's not watchable. Those films are not watchable just because they are independent films and they are very cheap to come on. Uh, to buy it when they are very cheap to buy it does not mean that you have to buy them and put it on netflix so restrain yourself from buying the content that does not resonate with indian uh, audience uh, and start buying the content and creating the content that actually resonates with indian people and then only then you can become successful the money is not the problem people are buying iphone all the time they will subscribe to you only if you give them the right content thank you